Hi guys, this video is to explain about the polar form of the radiation pattern and the cartesian for the radiation. So how are we going to transform the polar form to cartesian format? So you can see like the radiation pattern, let's say in the software, they have like polar form, something like this. And then the cartesian, okay, in SY axis. And then this one is the gain for the Y axis and X axis is the degree. And then you also can view it in 3D. Okay. But what we can draw is polar and cartesian. So what is the relationship between uh, cartesian and polar? Okay. So I will show you how to draw how to transform the polar form to cartesian. From the polar form, you can see here is like a directional radiation pattern. So it's it's radiated to one direction. Okay, and then this one is the main loop, the big one. Okay, and the small one, the side loop here, you can see that I have a four side loop. Okay, and then this one is the bad loop. Okay, so all this is I like consider is like minor loop. Okay, and then yeah, we call it side loop for this four, and this one is the bad loop, and this the main one is the main loop. Okay, the maximum gain will be in zero degree. Okay, so something like this. We have zero degree here. Thirty. 60, 90, 120, and 150, and 180 here. Okay, so another one will be like negative 30, negative 60, negative 90, negative 120, and negative 150. Okay, so we have the each angle for polar form okay so you can see here the maximum gain is in zero degree so let's say we point out zero degree here is 10 db okay the maximum gain okay so that means zero degree here we have maximum gain here is 10 db and then this one is gain in db and then this one is the degree Okay, so how we're going to draw this okay from polar form to cartesian is we just follow the angle. Okay, so you can see like 30 degree and negative 30 is zero. So that means our our gain from each degree until 30 will be n in zero. Okay, so it will be something like this. So that means when we from starting here, the maximum gain here, we will stop at 30 degree for 0 dB, that means we're going down this side, okay, and then another one, block negative 30 will be this side, okay, so, so another one will be the negative 30 degree, let's say we from here, we're going down to this side, Okay, so here will be like negative 30 and then here will be like 30. So we assume here the origin here is 0 dB. Okay, that's why they stop in 0 dB here. Okay, next. So you can see from here, right, actually it's like 30 until 60. They have uh, no side loop. That means they, we just ignore it uh, empty. That means from 30 until 60 here. Is empty from this side. Okay, they have nothing here. Okay, so we assume it's empty. Thirty until negative thirty, negative thirty until negative sixty also empty. So that means starting from sixty to ninety, right? They have a side loop. Okay, so we can draw it like this. Negative sixty to ninety. Okay, the side loop. Okay, so here is ninety, and then here is sixty. So okay, same goes to here at the 90. So from here, this side to 90. Okay, and then we can see like they have another side loop from 90 to 120. That means we're going to continue from here, this side, a loop, a side loop again until 120. Okay. So from this side to 120, okay. So that means we have two side loop here. 
Okay, and you can see like two sad look here as well. So next we will have a bad look. So bad look is like 180, right? So actually you can see from here actually it's like positive 180 and negative 180. That means total will be like 360 degree for the whole circle. That means from this side you can we can see like negative 120 until negative 150 is empty. Same goes to 120 and 150. That means our line we will start from 150 to 180. So we will start like 150 here. So we can see like starting from here and until like 180. So let's say 180 is here. So we stop at here, this side. Okay. And then same goes to here, it's like 150. And then stop at 180. Okay. So this one will be the this part. Okay. So this part will be this part. Okay. Until 180 from 150. And same go to 150 positive to 180 degree. So this is how to transform the polar form to the Cartesian, and let's say we have a half bandwidth, right? So we can know that the half bandwidth here. Okay, so half power bandwidth. Okay, is so the half power bandwidth, right? Okay, is always right below uh, three dB, the negative three dB uh, after the maximum gain. Okay, so maximum gain. So you can know it's right here from this side. Let's say we assume this side to this side is uh, 3 dB. Okay, so that means your half power bandwidth will be in this point and this point. Okay, so we will have a dot like something here. Okay, so this one will be like our half power and this guy will be another half power here. So this one will be our half power bandwidth okay so now we have the half power bandwidth here okay so this one is the angle okay so we assume it's like 15 degree and 15 degree here so total will be like 30 okay so let's say our half power bandwidth here is equal to 30 degree okay and then our first now bandwidth right is approximate to 2 times of half power bandwidth okay that means we will have our first now bandwidth is equal to 60 okay roughly 60 so it's like near around 60 so we can take this one like 30 degree here and negative 30 is first now bandwidth that means something here okay so something from here to here we will have first now bandwidth yeah so this this part will be our first now bandwidth. Okay, so now you can understand like how to build the polar form and understand the result and build the radiation pattern in Cartesian form and understand about the result. Okay, so from here, right, you also have like a half power here. So let's say you know that 10, 10 dB here, right, 10 dB here, and then 3 dB here, that means your point here will be 7 dB. Okay, so let's say we put it like 7 dB here and 7 dB here. Let's say we have a 7 dB in this side. So let's say we put it like 7. Okay, so that means our half power will be this side and this side. Okay, if you're going down here and here, okay, it's like 15 and negative 15. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so for the first now bandwidth, right? So will be from negative thirty until thirty. Okay, so this here will be the first now bandwidth. Okay, so that's all for the how to transform the polar form to Cartesian and then how to read the result from polar and Cartesian form for the radiation pattern. Thanks, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video.